I fancied making something a little bit girly today, so I decided to go with butterflies and flowers and give the flowers a um, a frilly um, look about them, um, like I did with my other ones. So I have just stitched out the design. The butterfly is sitting on the flower. This part of the flower won't frill up, but the rest of it should frill up. So I'm just going to... Um, frill the flower if I can hopefully I've cut through it all enough so you have to do this in stages because some of the flower is over the other parts of the flower so we'll try this one first and then get this one out and then that should release the top one and the one to the side like I say, I've already cut the back. So I'm just going to do this with all of them. And then I will come back shortly. Whoops, got quite a call then. So I've just finished um, pulling all of the threads out from the flowers. And as you can see, they've all been released. So really, if you get this design, it's best to start off... Um, by pulling the frills out of this one first because then this will release this one and this one um, so I'm going to cut the design out and add my my rivets as you can see I have just cut the design out and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch these two little guide holes and you can see them here there's one there and there's one there I'm going to punch them ones out now using what I use for all of my designs which is a revolving hole punch and let's pull that out I'm not sure what everybody else uses but I've got I've got a couple of these as they punch up lots of different hole sizes let's cut that out and then I, because I put the guidelines, the guide holes in, um, I know that it'll be, it'll be right in the right place. So I'm going to use a 22 um, mil split ring. Make sure that that's the right size. Where's my ruler? Mm -hmm. Nope. This one is 25 millimeters. 25 millimeters. What ones are 22? Is it this one? No, these ones are 20. I'm going to use a 25 because I think the 20 will be a little bit too small. So I'm just going to pop that over there. Fold the tab over the split ring and then um, match the holes up. As you can see, match the holes up there. And then I'm going to add my rhinestone rivet. So I push it through the front and I add the cap to the back. And then I'm going to use um, my snap tool to close it. Now the cap, the cap of the rivet goes in the cap of this um, tool. And I'm going to push down on the rhinestone using this part here. Because if we do it the other way, the rhinestone the cap will be um, ruined. So I'm going to put the cap in the, in the cap hole, in the holder, and I'm going to push down on the rivet using the top part here. And I'm going to push it nice and tight. And then that is not even touched. It's not marked or anything. It's lovely. And this design is complete. Look, I've missed a piece there. Oh, it's not even been cut through. There we go, done. And that is the butterfly um, frilly flowers. Hope you like it. I do. I think it's lovely. Oh yeah, and before I go, the, um, this is part plique. You can leave it blank if you want to, but I've put um, I've put the placement stitch and a tack down stitch on the butterfly so you can use any sort of fabric that you want and I chose organza can you see 
I chose an organza, just a really, really pale um, peach organza colour. And I think that'll come out really, really nice. But you can use any sort of fabric. Um, use a bright purple or pink or green or yellow. And just be adventurous with your colours. Um, I'll get this written up and then I'll add it to Etsy. See you later.